Okay, so we're ready to move on with the build. And we're going to start with issue 21. I think that's everything. Yep. So, if you guys want to know what comes with issue 21, I did a complete unboxing video for you guys, and you can go and check that out. But this is going to be just the build. We got two packets of screws, and we have a section of the hood. And this, you can see where the screws are going to go. And let's get this beautiful lady over here. Yeah. Just like that. <clears throat> and that's going to be held in place. Well, the bottom section is going to have the IM screws that are going to hold it in place. So let's get those ready. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I can get the alum wrench. Okay, after what feels like a year, imagine trying to put a screw in and rotating it a quarter of the way at a time. You're in an awkward spot and you have to, you gotta tighten them. You can't risk anything being loose somewhere down the line where you, you don't want a screw falling out rattling around. Okay. And that is the completed work. Okay, now we're moving on to step 22. Sure is that everything? Let's see, these are going to go on the section that we had already done. You can see all of them are going to go on. So why don't we get this, the glue ready. And I like to use the super glue. show you guys a little better. Look at that. Hopefully you can see them. Here we are. <clears throat> And again, there are no extra windows, so don't make a mistake. So let me wipe off the, um, the extra glue. I don't know if you can see all the little window frames in there. No. All right, we're gonna spin them around. And there's a lot more to be careful for on these. And I'm gonna spin them and they should just come right off. They like to jump. And I'll show you guys, these are a lot more intricate. And again, they don't give any extras. So we gotta be very careful not to lose a window. All right, so let's put this side in first. And we're gonna glue them. Actually, we've got one that goes on the end. You can see I did the ladder. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue. And I find it easier to wet the tip of my finger and that picks it up. And it goes on a lot better. Now 
That looks really nice. Look at that, huh? I hope the camera picks that up. All right. Now let's do this side first. I painted the window frames black before, but the super glue kind of smudged them a little bit. So I'm going to have to go back and use a little bit of thinner and clean them off. But look at the look at the windows. Hopefully you guys can see how cool that looks. It looks amazing. And again, we got to go and clean that up. And this, the staircase, I had done the um, painted the top dome, the glass dome. That looks pretty nice. So this is going to go. You can see where the lights. going to be coming up out because they're going to light the smokestack as well as lighting the windows on the Click inside. Click it into place. See how it, we got one side in. There. You can hear it click into place. I don't know if you guys can see those tabs that hold the circuit board and the lights in place. And they want us to test it, but I'm going to test it after it's done because chances are so it's going to go into. It's going to go into the little holes or the little slots at the bottom. And we're going to actually hold them in place with two AP screws. There. Yeah, you can see we got the lights lit up on the uh, the funnels, and we've got the um, the windows lit. So that looks pretty nice. Okay, so this is part twenty three, and this looks like it's going to be for the winch housing. And we've got the winch. And we've got all the screws. So you can see there's like a little, a little slot for the rope or string to come out of. And we're gonna cover it up. See, just like that. And those are gonna be the AP screws. Yeah. Where it's gonna go. See these four pieces right there. Here we are. Hopefully you can see that in there. And that's basically it for this one. Okay, we're moving on to issue 24. And it looks like this is gonna be another piece of the hull that we're gonna put in. So the first thing it looks like we're going to do is we're going to click this into place, just like we did for the lower part. There. You can hear it kind of click into place. Look at that. She's starting to get bigger. Beautiful. Okay, let's start with the screws now. You can see 
the ones along the bottom, so, these are the Allen wrench screws. So I can tighten it up this way. And this one might be able to do from the side. All right, so we got the screws in. And now we gotta put Let's see, these would be the KM screws, and we have to put them in right there. So I tightened them all, and I went down and I tightened all of them, just to make sure that none of them are gonna be loose. And they're all nice and tight. So the hull is nice and solid, and we're all set to move on. Anchor for the Titanic. Gonna go in like that. All right, so let me see if I can do this for the camera. Um, we're gonna put the chain in. There we go. Just like that. We got it hooked on. See how it's the chain is hooked and. We got the, the chain on and everything is hooked up, so what are we supposed to do with that? So see, it broke again. And I am never gonna use this again. See the anchor, once it goes up and it's taut, I'm never using this again. I am gonna super glue the knot because it's only gonna come off again if I even try to do it. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to try to take it from the winch itself. The anchor. You can see how it's going to start to pour it in. I hope you can see that. And hopefully it goes on the right side. See how it did that? And the string, the string came off. The chain broke first, then the string came off. Okay, moving on to 25. And this is the one it opened up from the top. And we got another light strip. Is we're going to take the bulkhead And we got to put pieces 25C on. So I do believe that that's what these are. You can see the little the little notches that are, have it, are gonna have it go on just like that on either side. So these are gonna go in the middle. Yeah. And when it's flipped over, you can see how the back is going to go on to the bottom. So it's got these little tabs that we got to put into the uh, there. So you know it's in place when you get all the little tabs and they click into place like that. And that's going to be the bulkhead. So what we're going to do now is um, we're going to put that in with CP screws. Be careful not to over tighten because you don't want to strip them. So just like that. <clears throat> okay, so now we have the light strip that's going to go. And again, it's going to click into place. I want to open up the tab just a bit to get the circuit board in. See how it kind of pops into place? That way there you don't we don't have to glue it. Just like that. 
And what we got to do now is we're going to take the steps. There. I don't want to take any chances that these end up coming off because this is all going to be bolted on later on and screwed together. So see how the steps are all in place? Let's see how it's going to go. So that's starting to look pretty cool. You can see what it looks like from the underneath. Okay, and now, lastly, on to stage 26, and we have the platform for the engine. That's what's in there. So we're gonna put together the thrust block. Just to be sure, I'm going to super glue mine. Not a terrible amount of glue, just enough to hold it in place. And line up the pins. Just like that. So, learn something new about the Titanic. This is called the thrust block. And this is so tiny. This is gonna go like that on that side because they want this piece sticking up. I don't know if you can see that. And we're gonna do the same thing for the other side and that will be the opposite direction. So that's gonna be like this. Okay, so now we're gonna take the thrust block and there's a tiny little piece. You know what? I think I want to put that on first. 26G. And that's like a little, looks like a valve. And that is so tiny. All right, so hopefully you can see how tiny that is. Let's put a drop of glue. All right, I don't know if you can see that, how they want the pipes to go. All right, so I don't know if you guys can see those tiny little pipes, the way they want them to connect. And let's see, it looks like it's gonna go right there. Like that. And there's gonna be two EP screws that are gonna hold it in place underneath. There, you can see the two screws are in. And I'm just gonna maneuver the pipes a little bit just so they look like they should in position. So we got the thrust block in. And I put a couple of drops of glue on it just to secure it. And that was 26, number five. And you can see we did the forecastle deck and we added a little bit more of the hull. And we put the, uh, the anchor on. We attach the forecastle deck onto the foredeck, uh, the well deck. You can see the stairs. There are still pieces I need to go here. That'll raise that up a little bit. We did the windows, with the grand staircases, the first class windows. We put the circuit board in, and we put the, uh, the rubber band on the uh, water tanks. And we 
put the other windows on under the boat deck and put the other we actually we put in a couple of circuit boards that are underneath no doubt that's going to light the uh the windows so my friends that was the build for part five or shipment number five and i'm looking forward to shipment number six and she's really starting to shape up so my friends until the next video thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you soon